Hello everybody, it's me again, Rosalie. Welcome back to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel, diving into music from all around the world. And today we are going to dive back into the world of Belgium slash Canada slash France, to be exact, technically Belgium, because our beautiful and by many beloved Lara Fabien is a Belgian Canadian singer and songwriter. However, technically, she was born to a Belgian father and a Sicilian mother, so she's Belgian slash Sicilian. And she lived the first part of her childhood in Sicily. She eventually moved to Canada and has a Canadian citizenship and then moved back to Brussels to be near her parents in Belgium. So, lady is multi-talented, sings multiple languages, amazing vocalist, the emotion she can convey. Check out my review, my reaction to her song, Je suis malade. Today, we are checking out her song, Adagio. But today I chose to pick this one because shortly after this, I want to check out Dimash's version of it. You've recommended that as well. More of her, more of Dimash, more of Diana coming, so stay tuned. As always, guys, like, share, subscribe, click the bell so that you can be up to date on what I'm doing. I'm so happy you're here, you guys. I love seeing your comments as much as I can. I want to interact and respond. Make it easier for me by being part of this channel. I'll get a sticker or a badge whenever I premiere or do a live. I want to see you. I want to really be able to respond to you, especially with those of you who are a core part of this community and who are consistently here. Let's dive in. Lara Fabien Adagio. This, this is the live version. Now, I know her actual music video of this song had like 35 million views. I decided to react to the live version, Lara with Love, um, which came out 20, 2009 and has over 3 million views. So let us check it out. Are you ready? I'm happy that you're here, you guys. This is exciting. Real quick, this right here, those last few notes remind me of Celine Dion. Some of you have been not comparing the two, but pointing out how Celine Dion blew up in the States and allegedly, supposedly, possibly, Celine Dion's team was trying to hinder La Rafa Bian from really becoming big here. So she ended up pushing more towards Europe and exploding over there. Some of you, however, did point out that she did have a big hit that was big, even in the States. I will love again. Like that part, that song, I know. Um, but I didn't put two and two together that that's Lara Fabian. And in that song, there's some very powerful vocals going on. She is very talented. But you, some of you have expressed that you feel or some people claim that her fame or her potential here was stifened. And, you know, we had more of Celine Dion. And then in Europe, though Celine Dion is known worldwide, Lara Fabian had a really big exposure and became very popular in Europe and in all these other places. I wait for you.
My goodness. Shoo! Wow, you guys. I love how she was laughing in the end. I made the mistake when I was reacting to Je suis malade to not watch the very, very end, uh, but only till when she was done singing. And I was told that um, if I would have kept watching, that you could have seen how she was, she needed time to recover from all the emotion when she was singing that song, all the pain. She felt it so deeply and she needed a second to recover. Here, I love how she ended with this deep sigh, this deep breath, but then also smiling and enjoying the applause. Her voice, from a, from a sound perspective, reminds me of Celine Dion in certain places. But what's amazing is how she can start so thin and airy, beautifully feminine, and then reach and then sing with such force and power and hold those notes for days. I've said that in my other video, but it's true. I mean, oh my goodness, you need some serious lungs for that. I, it's amazing. She, um, she is 52 years old now. Um, Adagio was uh, this song that we just listened to and uh, she, it's in English so I think for the most part we can hear, we can understand the lyrics but for those of you who are not my English speaking friends, I hope that the video allows for subtitles to translate what she was singing as much as it is able to understand it but just to summarize real quick you guys, she's saying I don't know where to find you, I don't know how to reach you, I hear your voice in the wind, I feel you under my skin, within my heart and my soul, I wait for you Adagio. All of these nights without you, all of my dreams surround you. I see you and I touch your face. I fall into your embrace. When the time is right, I know you'll be in my arms. So summarizing just this deep, passionate love song of waiting for the love of your life, this person you long for, this adagio. If you know where to find me, if you know how to reach me before this light fades away, before I run out of faith, be the only man to say that you'll hear my heart, that you'll give your life forever you'll stay. Don't let me run out of faith, be the only man to say. And then it tags again. You won't let go, Adagio. Just this longing for this person of love, for this person that, that she is trying to reach, that she longs to have in her arms, that she wants, whom, whom she wants to be with and who she hopes will be the only one to say that he believes, make me believe you won't let go. Which I, I think many of us can relate to, a love that won't let go. I think that's why faith and believing in a God who loves us unconditionally is such a powerful concept to people because people come and go, humans fail. And um, I think many of us long for that unending, deep, personal love. And when we can experience a relationship where that love exists, even with its ups and downs, even with its hardships, that's a beautiful gift. Be it romantic love, be it a friendship, it's beautiful to be loved and to love. But what a powerful voice, the way she was holding those notes. Lara Fabian is a lyric soprano. So again, amazing how she can hold those high notes, very beautiful and airy and feminine, but then also diving into these notes, holding these high notes with such force and strength. She's a full lyric soprano and she can cover three octaves. Her vocal range basically spans over three octaves. Pooh. She's able to sing in multiple languages. She's a multilinguist, which is amazing. She speaks Italian, French, Spanish, Sicilian, English, Flemish. Pooh. Amazing. What a woman. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a performance I want to check out soon. So stay tuned. Dimash's cover, Dimash's version of Adagio, Adagio. And I also want to be checking out more of Lara Fabian's songs, especially those in other languages like Je t'aime and uh, some of the ones in Italian that you've recommended. So stay tuned for that, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Did you like this song? What do you think of her and her music? Leave a comment below. As always, guys, I'm so happy you're here. Remember to join any premieres and lives that I do so you can get those super badges and stickers and be part of this community. I see you. I really want to respond to you and honor, especially those of you who are consistently here and supporting this place. Thank you for stopping by, you guys. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and stay tuned for much, much more. This was Rosalie Reacts. Until next time. Heyo!